Welcome back to junk food. So starting off we just have a big mancubus hallway and killing these first few manks are is kind of difficult. It's easy to catch a ton of projectiles but once you gain a foothold just kill the first few then you can start slow fatso dodging. So a little pro doom tip here. If you want to consistently dodge a ton of mancubus projectiles all you have to do is just move slowly. And I use a uh, mouse movement to do this since it's just the easiest way to move super slowly. But yeah, just you can consistently dodge all the Mancubus projectiles doing this. I learned this strat from Ankelagon. He has a YouTube video on it where he just dodges way more Manks than this, like hundreds of them. And you can consistently dodge every Mancubus projectile by just moving slowly. Really useful tip for something like this. Thank you, Ankelagon. And now it's time for the big fight. Grab the BFG. And this the start of this fight kind of just feels like praying for low rolls. Because, especially when turning around like that, it's really easy to catch just a ton of Revenant missiles, a ton of Mancubus projectiles. So yeah. And it's easy to catch like multiple at one time. So you do kind of have to dodge, I mean, you do kind of have to pray for low rolls. I feel like not taking damage in this fight is kind of just not an option. So yeah. But once all the manks are dead, and the hell knights are more towards the front, then I start doing smaller U-shapes. I go only like halfway into the arena. Like I cut the semicircles like half the size. So I can pull them towards this one side and then just move around and make my way to the Megasphere in the very back. And by this point it's basically just cleanup. The only thing you really have to deal with now are infighting rockets. But even then there's not a, they're not a big deal because there's still more health in the map if you need it. The Cybers will be in fighting the Hell Knights, but more importantly, they'll be in fighting the Revs. So you do have to look out for in fighting rockets basically the entire time you're cleaning up these cybers. But again, it's not a big deal whatsoever. I did catch an in fighting rocket there, but again, there's health on the sides, supercharge right there. Also, you really don't have to worry about ammo whatsoever. In this entire wad, really, it's just BFG spam. You don't have to worry about ammo at all. Fishing off the last few revs, and now it's time to clean up the cybers on the very outsides. Guarding the keys. And, silly Brendan, you forgot to break the rev ball. But yeah, that was just a bit of unnecessary damage. Thankfully, I didn't eat too much. Just spam the cybers down. You do want to be careful because on the opposite side, there is another cyber. So just look behind you every once in a while. You can charge up your BFG and just land a bunch of uh, BFG balls on them if you want to. Last guy guarding the yellow key. And this guy doesn't have anyone... This You don't have anyone behind you so you can actually two-shot that guy. And that's it. Fat Boy Factory. So, yeah, this map was made by my good friend Colossus and my fellow fat boy in crime. <laughs> and yeah, I believe this is like his... I could be completely wrong saying this, but this might be his third map ever? He has a map in D5DA2 called Fat Boy Summer, which this map is obviously the sequel to. He has his Pooger's map, and then this. And I gotta say, man, for his third map, this is really, really good stuff. Like... The big fight is actually really, really well designed, and yeah, it's just a fun map. It's really well designed, again, and yeah. Also, I literally have not commentated anything in like a month, so I apologize if my commentary was a little weak. That, But yeah, it, it's whatever. No one really cares anyway, <laughs> from my experience, and I think that's going to do it for me. So... Thank you all so much for watching.
and have a good one.